that was question number one. Next okay. question. Lesson number two. Um, okay, maybe the next question I would ask you, if I didn't know you, would be what inspired you to write in the first place? Like, like most people, like most normal people, will be like, I need to make extra money. I'm gonna go get a second job, or you know, the way society portrayed that could have went any other way but you decided to go with writing well it went it went my first of choice though you know what i mean because in the beginning um i was rapping yes that's you know right. what i mean so you know i you know i had big dreams there mm -hmm. you know i did a couple of things on that leveled up soul cities and everything mm -hmm. and i learned how to make beats you know i learned how to do music that was my first big thing and then I was doing that till I got like in my 30s. And then I heard one of the rappers say, oh, you 30 some years old and you ain't made nothing yet. So you know what the hell you need to do? You need to change the switch. Right. So when I heard that, I was like, you know. I'm yeah, getting, that's your answer. Yeah, I said, you know, I'm getting too old for this shit. You know what I mean? So this was like way before, you know, writing, but it was a book it was written by an author. No names because you can get a lawsuit because that's like advertising and pushing. But that author, she inspired me. It was like, you know, just to listen to her story. And I had actually my son, mom, I had her read the whole book to me. She read the whole book. And the story was so good, like, she would read probably a chapter or two a night. And I thought about that chapter to the very next day, all the way till she get ready to read it me again. <laughs> it, it, it was it was like I wanted to her to finish it. You know what I mean? It was like, like so she read it you know. so right that I wanted to hear it all the way to the end. You know, and it took probably about a good week. She read the whole book to me in a week, uh -huh. and I know the whole book. All right, so and then you know the book was so good that you it know inspired you deeply. I was like, wow, you know, and I didn't yeah, want it to like end. Of you. Yeah, you know, like when it got towards the end, you know, when, I, when I'm looking at the pages, like, damn, she finna get ready to end it. I was like, damn, I don't want it to end. And you got more of that individual's books, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a lot of her books. But but what I did, when she got to the end, I'm like, man, I wanted more to it because I wanted to know what happened to this star. I said, you know what? I'm going to write another chapter to it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write another you story write to your it. Own version. Yeah. So I wrote my own version to it and it called No Business But Good Business. And that was my first book that I ever wrote. And you were very proud of that book. Everybody like, it, that read it around my way because I never put it in the market or anything at, at that time. Right. But um, they was like, damn, it's a good book. Damn, it's a good book. But so like, I'm like, you know, right. just, you know, you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, I did something. You know, I wrote my first book. Wow. And then the critics. And then the haters. And then, I can't call them critics or haters because they did look out for me. But they told me, you know you can't promote that. Why? They say because she can sue you. Okay. You know, she can sue you. And I was so devastated because how I added to that story, it was like, it was, deep it was right to everybody. You could have read it. It I was so, it called No Business But Good Business. It was so on point, on point. No, I don't. Guess how many pages? Because I got mad. I'm going to tell you about that, too. Oh, God, it was God, like God, over God. 500 pages. Oh, my Jesus. Good book. You know, it could have been no better than, you know what I mean, than, than how, I, how I added it to it. You know what I mean? Okay. Moving right along. Hold on. No, no. Let me tell you. So then when I finished it, they said, you know, she can sue you. So what I did, I said, you know what? Bump it. I'm going to stop. And I'm going to write my own story. I threw, the, I threw the book away. That's what happened to it. Yeah. And that's when I wrote Fast Cash. Publishing the stores, fast cash, two ways, and close management, and not my circle. And your circle, well, my circle. Yep. Is, yeah. That's something to her would say, my your circle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, can you tell us about my circle? 
My circle. And how does my circle? Does it like, does my circle have like a I mean, it fill a lot of gaps in my life. I mean, it, it's certain events in it that, you know, of course never ever happen. But, you know, my circle is a part of me and my son. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, me and my son on a journey and something terrible happened. You know, the name calls itself Apocalypse in the Hood. Something terrible happened the way we had to pack up and leave. And you would never imagine, like yeah. coronavirus. Yeah, like the coronavirus, exactly. I had to get him, you know what I mean? And we had to pack up and leave. And of course, what father not going to protect his son, you know what I mean? So I had to get him and make sure that we made it safely to our destination. But throughout the the trip, it came, you know what I mean? Off the, yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So. Do you have control over your cat, son? He's tripping, you know what I mean? So you give it catnip. So what's wrong with the nerd cat? So that's what my my circle is about. It's a good book. Might as well y'all eat. Hey, check it out, man. My circle. That's my biggest achievement. You're in the list. And it's, it's the biggest too. I ain't never took fast cash that far. This far. What? This far. Really... But we don't have. So let's talk about your personal life. My personal life. Well, honestly, to be real, and well, this. We know you were a single father. I was. Stop, man. You say you was. Yeah, I was. A, yeah, I was a single. Um, I was single. I was single for like ten years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ten, ten years. What since I, no, since I had my son. Like, you know what I mean? I lived a single life since my son, for 10 years with my son. No, 14 years with my son. You know what I mean? And then, you know, I can't call it was a relationship that I was in, you know what I mean? Because my other kids or whatever, but you know what I mean? It's like, that don't count, you know what I mean? But anyway, so I met somebody and this person showed me more than anybody ever really showed me, you know what I mean? And I said to myself and I asked God, I said, God, you know, put somebody in my life that I can really love and, you know, be with this person and show how much I have to give. And the thing about it, when I met that person, she showed me the same thing. So it was like, wow, you know, I couldn't have found it no better than what it is. So, of course, I married them. And we're together right now and we're living the, the best lives. And she got one quote that she always says. I'm gonna just put my seat belt on and, and I'm gonna just take this ride, you know what I mean? And see. I'm like, where are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you know what? And and my wife, you know, matter of fact, my wife, I'm gonna tell you something about my wife. My wife, she is you. Next what? question. She is you. Next question, baby. Personally, I didn't talk about that all day. Your wife too, she's very nice. Yeah, you look at every day in the mirror. <laughs> Next. Okay, let's see. What else can we ask? We already asked you about who you are, um, what motivated you to write the book. You said it was another author who inspired you, who kind of hurt your feelings and made you want to go harder. You know, I even tried to reach out to her. She never replied. She's not, she's not your friend. Mm -mm. Get over it. But one of them did reply. Another a book that I read from another author. Yeah. I'm just say to say, Miss Clark, she replied to me. And, I mean, yeah. she replied, and I was so like, wow. She, she even yeah, liked she, liked she a couple of my pictures. Match in huh? the moment of darkness that you were. Yeah, doing. exactly. You know what I mean. You know, she lit a little match, and we thank yeah. her for that. Mm -hmm. Because not only did you get cat, fast cash who was pretty successful to be your first book. You also have a trilogy. Oh yeah. That's not really out there. Yo, oh yeah, yeah. And they all have an individual story to a deep individual personal friends of yours and acquaintances and even family members. Yeah. Yeah. 
Real life peoples. Okay, so the first one, the beginning of your trilogy is, let me guess. In close management. management. That's the first one. Yes. And I was dealing with my homeboy dude. Yes, this was an actual. Yeah, some of the some of the stuff that happened in there happened in real life. Yes, and I was really Content. impressed when I saw Kissing Cousins restaurant. Shout out, I've never been there though. Kissing Cousins. Yeah. <laughs> so, I want to go. So, so Tim, what, what you me. think about that book when you first this read it? This book, I read it because I couldn't call myself your wife, my king, without reading all your books mm -hmm. and being brutally honest, which you know I am. This was really good. I, I read this book here. and I read this book and the stories and the journey. This is a must read. <laughs> and close management. And close management. Yeah, I got my kids in here. Yeah. This was great. So you would so, suggest that they go and read that? And close management. I like and close management. Tell us a little bit about how you got into this world. In close management, like my brother did 10 years in prison. Okay, I should have both of We all fat. Right. In close management, my brother did 10 years, you know, and um. Listen, we gotta get your brother's permission to be telling his. It's all good. You know, he did. I ain't gonna, you know, I got a lot of brothers, but he did 10 years <laughs> and he was like, I wanted to take his charge. Because he ain't the man who I am today, you know what I mean? He was the man that I am now. And back then, because he was married, and I wasn't. And, you know, I was single, so I don't like that. You didn't have your younger son here. No, uh, Tori wouldn't have never been here. Tori wasn't even born. So I was like, let me take your charge. And, you know, and we were like, what? You know what I mean? We, we thought about it. I said, you know, you're married. I don't kill in the streets. I'm selling drugs. You know what I mean? I ain't really doing nothing. You got a job. You, you're married, man. Your family love you, man. I said, look. Let me take your charge. I'll ride these 10. You know what I mean? I do that there for you. You know what I mean? That's, but that's my brother's. That's not the way the story ended. Because but, yeah, yeah. at the end of the story, your brother took his own charges. Yeah, because my grandma. Oh, leave your grandma out of this. Yeah, she don't want. Look, we're going to talk about grandma later yeah. when we go back to. Yeah, they were like, ain't nobody going to do your charge. You're going to do your mom with charges, what she told him, and he understood it. So he did 10 years. So I did 10 years. And my 10 years, so I wrote about it. You know what I mean? So you can give your brother credit. Yeah, for, for having me with this one. But the actor in it is my dude, Duke. Right. Real life person. Right. And he really did time. And some of the contents that happened in here, the stuff happening here, also, also happened. Also, so you give credit to both of them. Both of them, yeah. So they, it, them two made in close management. Those two were the creators. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. And that is a good, great book, especially if you're in the penitentiary and you need something to read. I'm trying to get it in the prisons. Y'all gonna have to check it out, man. Yeah, Close yeah. management. Real deal. And we take feedback. Yo, <laughs> this something, or I got something on the back. I ain't saying shout out to something new. I can't I do know, it. Shout out to a correction know. institution, but yeah. A lot of people grow up in the, in the penitentiary system, and yo. you know they come out there brand new, like with. You know, degrees and yo, yo, oh, yo. To be and another thing, this hill, this dude that did this time in hill, bright dude, man, he did them 10 years. Is that the one your cousin was calling Malcolm X? Yeah, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bad. Hey, he did it. He wrote it. You know what I mean? Came out, one shell shock, uh, nothing. Came out a civilized person. And that's one of three. This this the first one out of three. Okay, ladies. Remember, he's married. I'm married, yeah. But we got this one, too. Two ways. That would be the next one, right? The sequel. The sequel. Two ways. I wonder how he got this story. Two ways, back okay. to enclosed management. <laughs> Here we go again. Two ways. Two ways, it came and thought while I was writing enclosed management. Yeah. Because while this dude was doing time, you know, you got to do something to occupy your time in prison. Well, what he did, instead of rapping and using and bars and shit. And whatever else. Yeah, he yeah, wrote he wrote a book while in prison. And the book that he wrote in prison was Two Ways. So what it is, he, he wrote about a couple. Which is an almost romantic novel. It's, 
Don't. Fifteen and up. No, sixteen and up. Don't read it. You know what I mean. It's so. I know that I want these uh, um, for mature audience only. Tell me what you think about it though. I think like it was. I got one story when you when funny. you said you was in the hallways <laughs> at work and she's work. Shh, don't talk to me that funny right now. A facility, <laughs> and she got to a parlor. Oh. And the other person just seen the whole change in her face. They were like, what? Oh, oh. Oh, you wow. gotta read the book. Yeah, like, mm. That's a must read. How long did it take you to read? I mean, it's a smaller book from the other one, granted. But I think it took me a day to read it. You read this whole book in one day? Yeah, I read my panties. She read, it made your panties wet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day, two ways, you know what I mean? Woo! She did. That's why I wanted to read it. She read it in one day. My All these pages in one day. Married. Yeah, but you know, but I wrote this, uh, you know, it ain't gonna like kind of like put me in the heat of the moment as I was writing it. Like, wow, you know what I mean? It's a good book, but anyways, he wrote this. Uh, you know, what what else can you think about while you're in prison? Women, you know what I mean? Did he? Wait, we're not, we don't want to do any spoiler alert. No spoiler, but I'm saying that that what he did. He in prison, like you know, let me write He wrote something to entertain him while he was in prison. And it took him a long time to write this book in prison. Even though you read it in one yeah, day. He did, like, he did a minute. Like, yeah, he kept putting this book down. But people in prison kept expiring. I'm like, yo, man, what's the story about? He'll talk here and there about it in this. You know what I mean? And it'll make the readers want to check it out. Like, yo, you know, check that out. What's that? Yeah, check it out. Check it out. And those two are like, besides Fast Fast being your first book, I got to admit, those two were kind of like my favorite. But you like the Fast Cash, too. I did like Fast Cash, of course. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think I'm supposed to like these two because they're a sequel. You're supposed to like them like yeah. that. You know? Do you remember any parts of here when he was talking about this? A lot of times he did. He did. He mentioned he did. it. You know, Yeah, this is the sequel though. This, this, um, this is the sequel. Uno, dos. Now this next book, which is the trilogy, she, my wife, too much like ain't really with that bang bang, bang bang, bang, bang type of stuff. So that's why she really too much didn't enjoy. But she read it though. It's not a bad book. It's I think it took me the longest to read, but I think it is kind of the thickest book too. Yeah. This is more like a straight up guy book. Chicago, <laughs> Miami, Bullet, New York, California. It's 